Thank you to my Patreon patrons and YouTube members. Your support keeps the lights on. If you want to access extra perks like early video access, special emotes and badges, a lounge area in the Discord server, or the ability to choose the next project setting, check the links in the description below. Now, let's get on with the video. What's going on, my Kitsunes? It's your favorite retail Fox Foxy come back at you with a brand new episode of The Sims 2 Mall 621, Monosodium Glutamate Mall, or whatever you really want to call it. In today's brand new episode, we're going to be building a few new shops in the mall, and we're also going to be furnishing the Apple Store that I said we were going to be furnishing back in episode 10. I, it's kind of a little bit embarrassing that I couldn't get to it in episode 10, but there was a lot of things I had to get to. But you can also see me in the beginning kind of like adding a couple of new stores. Now, these are actually freshly made through Homecrafter Plus. I don't know if any of you guys have ever used Sims 2's Homecrafter Plus, but it's basically kind of like a way to make, um... I, I, I think the best way that I can describe it is it's a way to make custom wall and floor coverings. I've known how to do this for 11 years now, actually, so I've been making custom walls and floors for quite some time. And actually, if you were paying close attention to the wall stuff out here, the wall, the paints in particular, that I was playing around with, you might have actually noticed that I actually already have Season 2 kind of planned out in my mind out here. Yes, it's going to be another mall for Season 2. We're going to leave the mansions to the YouTube shorts because I think we can get the mansions done in a reasonable amount of time, in a reasonable amount of episodes. Of course, you know, I'm using an 80 by 80 lot for that, so... Yeah, I have severe doubts that that's actually going to happen. But anyways, right now... We're currently working on the Apple Store at the moment, and also I do want to clarify this because I know there's like a lot more pauses in my commentary, a lot more like, you know, fumbling in my words than usual. Again, I'm still a little bit on the sickly side. I, I don't want to say that I'm running a fever anymore because I haven't really sweated that much out here. I mean, it still is a little bit hot in here, but my recording booth is naturally hot because there's like no air circulation or anything like that. My PC isn't even getting air flow. How the hell has it stayed alive for so long now that I think about it? But yeah, obviously it's like naturally hot in here, so I'm not too worried about that. It's not like I got chills or aches or anything like that. It's just this lingering cough that refuses to go away right now, at least as of right now. I'm currently taking medicine. I'm trying to get it down as much as I can. Of course, you know, we got a couple of idiots out here trying to get me to go to a doctor over it. It's like, you, you never tried to do this when I had the flu before, and now you're trying to do it now? Yeah, I think I know what the plan is. I think I know what's going on out here. I am I want no part of it, okay? I'm not allowed to talk directly on what's going on in that department, though, as per Rule 16. And I'm going to make Rule 16 apply everywhere, too. That being the live streams, that being video commentaries, shorts commentaries. It's just a whole bunch of drama that, as of right now, I'm using Rule 16 as a beginning stone to kind of distance myself from out here. So yeah, I'm kind of distancing myself from that whole mess. And I feel like for my mental health sake, I think that's the right decision. Kind of like begin the process now so that I'm not crying for help down south later. And by the way, down south, I mean geographically, not in the lewd sense. Why would I be doing that? No, get that out of your head right freaking now, okay? If anything, I'm going down in that situation, but all jokes aside out here. We're currently working on the Apple Store right now. You might have noticed me kind of like developing a little bit of a floor plan for it. An area for laptops, area for computers, and of course an area for the iPod, or iPhone and at the time iPod Touch. You can tell this is an old set because this is actually Paco Taco Player's old Sims 2 Apple Store set. I don't even know if Paco Taco Player is um, active on Mod The Sims anymore. I don't even know if that's the case. I'll have to look them up at some point, but... um. Yeah, I'm basically using their set for the Apple Store, and you can tell it's an old set because you got Mac OS X Snow Leopard. Yes, Mac OS X. It was still using the Roman numeral for 10. They did that for like several years before Tim Cook finally decided to release at Mac OS 11, or Tim Apple, I should say. Apple's the one that actually did that. It was more the developers. And I'm pretty sure they did that largely to compete with Windows 11 more than realistically anything else. But yeah, you can actually tell that it's an old set by that and the iPod Touch. It was released all the way back in 2007, and I'm pretty sure, I, I'm like 99% sure the iPod Touch is completely out of support now. So if you try to go to the Apple Store and you need help with it or for whatever reason or anything like that, they'll just tell you you're shit out of luck, you know? Because the iPod Touch is no longer supported. So do you want to put that out there as well as, for, as a warning for anyone who has their um, old iPod Touch still and it's still working. Keep it in working order for as long as you possibly can. 
That's all I'm going to say right now, although I think the real reason the iPod Touch went completely out of support would be the fact that the iPhone is kind of superior in a way. It's basically like the iPod Touch, except it can make phone calls. Like, the iPod Touch is basically just an inferior iPhone at this point, so I could kind of see why Apple got rid of phased it out of their lineup. I could see where the decision kind of came from. And you got to put your, um, anyone who runs a business will tell you, you got to put, like, you know... You gotta put everything where the big money is. I mean, you'll end up like one of the other businesses that we, well, one of the other shops that we put in this mall in the episode if you don't. Now, I haven't looked this up fully, so I haven't fully verified it, but I did hear that Route 21 went completely bankrupt and out of business, and that is gonna be one of the stores that we're building next. You can see me starting up on it right freaking now. We got that and Abercrombie and Fitch, and these are actually brand new um, wall and wall creations with, um, Homecrafter Plus, so yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Both of them are going to use the same color scheme, so it's going to be a little bit hard for these stores to kind of differentiate themselves. I may redo them in a future episode, so that actually is possible, because I don't know why I'm just a little bit bothered by that, but I kind of wanted to get this episode done quickly and timely, so there may be some renovations upcoming in those episodes. I do know we put down a Starbucks at the end of this, too, although I did modify the plans a little bit for that, so that's why this episode might appear a little bit longer than usual. I don't think it's going to crack the 10 minute mark, but I do definitely think it's going to crack the 9, which I haven't done in a hot minute, so yeah, definitely eager to see how this one turns out, but yeah, we got this um, ATM. We're, we're obviously going to put freaking vending machines in the middle of the mall. Like in the mall hallways, it's a little bit more realistic to have vending machines, and of course you got the Coca-Cola and the Pepsi in their famous 2000s Fruger Arrow aesthetic, and actually that's going to be another hint I'm going to be dropping for the Season 2 project. Think like... I think like someone took the Dubai mall, added a few more stores, maybe like 100 or 200 more, and then made a Frutiger Arrow aesthetic out of it. That's kind of what I'm thinking of when I think of like the season two project for this. And I'm pretty excited for that. Probably gonna start planning it in my head very soon because we are getting closer and closer to finishing the um, main interior of the mall. I, of course I say main interior, that implies that the anchor stores aren't really kind of like the main attractions, the Macy's, the Sears, among other things. But to me, they really kind of aren't. For me, the part of the fun of going to the mall, even nowadays actually, because um, I'm play I, I actually do live near a relatively live mall, and I do plan on moving to, or at least relatively close to another relatively live mall. But yeah, part of the malls, like part of the fun from the experience is like, you know, going on the interior and actually seeing what shops are inside the hallways and whatnot. And usually I'll always walk out with at least a plush fox and some vanilla coke and maybe some femboy clothing if, you know, a certain couple of people are not around. But anyways, we're starting to get pretty close to the end of this episode, so I'm going to start doing my sign-offs here. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care, bye for now, and have a great day or night, no matter where in the world you